Side note, actually, before we get uh, dive in, we actually just hired a uh, soon-to-be graduate from Fairfield uh, over at Kayak, and uh, super exciting to have a stag on board, but also super depressing to hear about all the fun she's having in her senior year, so <laughs> it's very nostalgic. Um, so as the sheet says, uh, my name is Daniel Guzman. I graduated in 2008, and I'm currently an account manager at Kayak. Uh, we're based in Stanford. I realize I'm a sophomore and a junior, I don't like reading. I'd rather just go to the beach and hang out with my friends. So I'm like, all right, this is not working. <laughs> so I go and find my advisor, and I literally, we have like a two-hour heart-to-heart. We're, we're talking about what you love, who are you, and we're diving in. And you know, it kind of just ties back to what, my mom being Colombian, my dad being Chilean. <laughs> and I like their cultures and the way Colombia works, Chile works, and different economies. So we land on, you know, maybe international studies is for you. I'm like, yeah, it sounds interesting. We give it a shot, and I fall in love. Um, I believe the teacher back then was Terry Ann Jones. I don't know if she's still here. Um, so we connected really well um, as teacher and student. Um, her class was great. Um, I remember writing my capstone, and I did it on Columbia, and I did uh, Columbia back in the 90s. I don't know if any of you know, it was terrible. Uh, you know, the drug trade, violence, it was probably the most dangerous place you can go to at a certain point in time. Um, but in 2008, it, it was completely different, but everyone had that stigma of Columbia's terrible, it's terrible, it's terrible. Um, so uh, my capstone paper um, was uh, progress in Columbia through leadership. Um, and I highlighted how Columbia's different, it, it's worth going to check out, it's actually a, a big tourist destination, um, and loved everything about it, great class, and it was a great ending to my Fairfield career. And then I graduate, and in 2008, that's when the economic collapse happened. So um, again, not having any really resources at home, like how do, how do I network, how do I get here and there, I didn't really have any luck finding a good job opportunity. Kind of struck out left and right. So I ended up managing a restaurant for uh, a year um, back in my hometown of Tarrytown uh, in Westchester County. Um, as a 22, 23 year old, working 70, 80 hours a week, Fridays, Saturdays, when your friends are out having fun. Not ideal. Um, it is what it is. You know, you, you kind of just make the best of any situation, and you learn, you adapt, you take in everything that you can. Our head cook was from El Salvador, so my Spanish skills came very much in handy when there was issues with customers not happy or you know, the staff not understanding what he's saying. Uh, I definitely was a godsend to the restaurant. Um, did that for a year. I kept in touch with the Fair, uh, Fairfield Career Center, uh, Kathleen Borgman, if any of you know her, love her, sent my best to her. Um, she always, we always emailed, we always kept in touch, and she put me into my next job opportunity, um, which was in South Norwalk for a satire publication. I was doing some e-commerce, uh, I was doing some social media, kind of a jack of all trades. Um, two years there, I wouldn't say it was my passion. Um, I took the next step and I became a recruiter. So essentially being in sales. I never thought I'd be in sales, gave it a shot. Uh, you know, it just wasn't for me. Um, so at that point, I was 20 years old. I'm like, I need to find something that I, I love, uh, I'm passionate about. Through my contacts at the recruiting firm, I landed at Kayak. Um, in two weeks, I'm going to reach my four year anniversary at Kayak. And as of recently, um, I've been asked to lead the LATAM team for Kayak. Um, Latin America is a really big focus for Kayak right now. We started with Brazil. Um, now we have Argentina, Colombia, Mexico, Peru, and Chile. So in the course of a year and a half, two year, you know, we've grown, grown tenfold in Latin America. The team was, went from one to about six, and Kayak's only 400 people. So to go from one to six in a year, it, it's pretty big growth for just one specific team in Kayak. So that kind of takes my whole journey full circle where, yeah, I, had, I got a minor in Spanish, my mom and dad, Chilean, Colombian, uh, I did a great major in international studies where I got to write on Colombia, but didn't really actually apply my language skills, and then just through networking, discovering what I love, and chasing a passion, I landed a kayak, and it was a great opportunity, a great company, great people, and really a company that wants to make the travel industry better, not just here in the U.S., but globally. Um, all those pieces really came together, and now spearheading 
the growth of Latin America, really engaging with clients in Spanish from the Arab Mexico to the Latams to all the major travel players in that region, it, it kind of, like I said, brings it full circle where if you apply yourself, you network, you discover what you're really passionate about and work towards getting that passion fulfilled. Um, it's some of those things that Fairfield really taught me and helped me to land where I was. There were some bumps in the road, some hearts broken in the case of my dad, um, but seeing what I'm doing now, it's, it's an opportunity that I'm really thankful for. Fairfield was an amazing four years of my life. Um, it flew by, I feel like, and I hope that all of you are really taking it in as much as you can, expose yourself to different opportunities, meet new people. Um, we're all gonna make our inner circle of great friends, but you know, reach out to a new group. You never know who you might meet four or five years down the road that you guys can reconnect. They can land your next opportunity or your next love interest or anything in between. Um, and yeah, that's me, so thank you.